So a couple weeks ago, a friend and I built these seven tool stands out of uh, steel pipe and car rims and steel plate, and we ground them and got the rust off and we welded them. And now I want to protect them. I want to seal them with this Penetrol. It's called, it's by Flood. And a lot of people use these to protect their car finish if they have an old uh, rustic car or rat rat or something like that. And they want that uh, worn bare metal or worn paint finish. They put this Penetrol on it and it seals it up. It prevents any more rust from getting to the surface. But I'm gonna coat this bare steel, uh, steel pipe and steel plate, and hopefully they won't rust anymore. Even though they're in the basement, it'll be a good clear coat, protective finish um, for all my tools, and they can get dirty and they'll, they'll stay the way they are. So we're gonna put this clear coat finish on it and see how it goes. Now technically, Penetrol is used to add it as an additive for paint. It, it uh, eliminates brush strokes, but what people have found is that you can use it just as it is. You don't need a whole lot but you can just brush it on bare metal and it will protect the finish that's on there. I'm gonna fill up a cup, I have a brush, and I'm just gonna brush over everything, get all the surfaces, and see how it turns out. Kinda of goes on like Polyurethane, like a thin polyurethane. It kind of feels like a polyurethane too. I got some on my hands and it's that same kind of sticky polyurethane. One other thing I wanted to point out was it's best to do it in small batches because when you're wiping on this rusty uh, metal, it gets into the liquid in the, the whatever you're mixing in. So by the end, it's a bunch of dirt and rust in here. So you probably don't want to mix a big batch. Just do small batches and then dump this rust out. Well, that's the finished product. And I think I only used about, I don't know, a couple inches of that for coating all seven of these. I probably only used a small amount but here's the finished product it's still drying but like I said before it kind of went on like a polyurethane and it had that kind of a sticky consistency of a polyurethane and like I mentioned before if you're gonna be uh, coating a car hood or something like that you're gonna want to wipe whatever rag or brush you're using because you're going to be covered in rust because all the rust that I didn't get off of here was picked up on the brush and in the liquid. So unless you want to be sloshing all that rust and uh, dirty Penetrol around you, you better uh, empty out your cup and clean off your brush. Well it's been 24 hours and I have to say they look great. They're nice and glossy. There's a little bit of uh, orange peel kind of surface on there but overall they look really good. I did check them after about eight hours and they were still sticky. Um, it's pretty cold down here, but after 24 hours, they feel very smooth and rock hard like a really good clear coat. Now I put the uh, Penetrol on here really thick. If you were doing a car hood, I would recommend spraying it where it's really thin. Um, but I can see some areas where it pooled up in here in the cracks and you can see it's nice and thick. Uh, so if you're going to do it on something you really want to keep nice, I would. I, recommend spraying it or really being careful about keeping a thin coat whereas I was just lathering the stuff on here because I wanted a thick protective coat on here and I wasn't really caring how, uh, how it looked. So if you're doing something like a car or anything steel you want to preserve and you don't want it to rust anymore that Penetrol by Flood I think it was uh, 10 bucks I'd have to check on the price but it wasn't that expensive I only used a couple inches out of that can to do all of these and they turned out great, so I highly recommend it. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, 
home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.